evening. My name is Verna Pearson. I'm a nurse at University Village Nursing Center, and I've been a nurse for over 14 years. I'm also an 1199 SCIU member. I live here in Wesley Chapel, and I'm a constituent to House Speaker Weatherford. I'm here to urge this speaker to accept the federal funds to expand Medicaid. That will help one million hardworking families with health care coverage. We have a health care crisis here in Florida, with four million Floridians being uninsured. But they're secure. Medicaid expansion will save lives, create jobs, and boost our economy. It will help a lot of our poor working class, some of whom are my coworkers, who are being forced to make hard choices when it comes to medical coverage. They simply can't afford it. So House Speaker, as a health care professional, and also a voter. Don't turn your back on your constituents. Don't turn your back on one million Floridians who work for a living but can't afford health care coverage. Accept the federal funds. These are our tax dollars. Don't let our states, don't let our states send this money to other states and cash this check that we need. We need to invest the money in Florida. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Pastor Rodriguez. And, uh, thank you, Pastor Gil Rodriguez. I'd like to just read the word, uh, which is uh, very well known. Second Chronicles seven fourteen says, "If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then we." Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, we come before your presence in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, that we share together as a family. For the country that we live in that gives us the opportunity, Lord, that our voice is heard, and our hearts are heard. Father, we come together, and this group comes together, because something unites them. The desire, Lord, that their voice be heard and that these funds be released. Father, we ask for wisdom. We ask, Lord, for our government. We, we pray for our government. We pray for every single one. We pray for wisdom. That's all we ask. We ask, Lord, that we can enjoy the health, Lord, overall health. But for those, Lord, that are suffering from health, Lord, we pray, Father, that they have access to the best care possible, Lord, and that the funds are there, that their care be given. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for our hearts, we pray for our nation, and we pray for unity. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hello, I'm the Cowardly Lion, and I'm here today to urge House Speaker Weatherford to have the courage to stand up to special interests and expand Medicaid. To have the courage to ensure over one million hardworking Floridians get access to quality health care. To have the courage to accept $51 billion of my tax money, of our tax money, of your tax money, instead of giving it to other states. And to have the courage to create 120,000 jobs. I may be the cowardly lion, but at this point, I have more courage than House Speaker Weatherford. My name is Alex Rodriguez. I work at a local hospital here in Tampa Bay. And I, myself, have a very special family member that is on kidney dialysis for the last 13 years. And to see her on the day-to-day -day struggle with her health care and the care for her prescriptions is something that makes me feel that I need to come out here and encourage um, Mr. Weatherfield to expand and accept those dollars for the state of Florida, for hardworking families like of myself and many other here in Florida, because I am also a diabetic without uh, medical insurance working a part-time job. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brenda Young. And if you look around, we're here today calling on Speaker Weatherford 
to pass Medicaid expansion for one million hardworking Floridians in need of health care. Speaker Weatherford needs to accept the $51 million billion dollars of our federal tax dollars to expand health care in Florida. If we don't use it, our tax dollars will go to other states when we need it here in Florida. You need to do the right thing. Have a heart. We're here today not just to be here, but to let you know that the, the Bible tells us that the disciples were chosen. You were elected to be in that office to do the right thing. Do the right thing and expand Medicaid. There you go. At this time, I'm going to call on Daryl Cole to say our last prayer to let you know that we're, we're looking up to the hills which come without help. And we know if Christ get into this, you will do the right thing. Let us bow our heads. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to move in a mighty way. We ask you to move on the heart of your people that we are late to our state office, God. And we ask you to release their heart, right to release this and help us get this Medicaid expansion, God. And, oh, God, we ask you to move in a mighty way, God. We put all our trust in you and that you're too wise to make any mistakes. And we're, we put the people in office that we thought would help our state. And, oh, God, we just ask you to move their minds, move their heart, Lord, and let them make the right decision, God. And we, as we stand as one together, we believe in and trust in you, oh God, that you will have the people make the right decision for our state. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 All standing here asking you to do what, everybody? Have a heart!